Welcome to the channel. It is Malachi M. Rowe, where we look at Malachi perspective. We look at agriculture, we look at food. And today we want to look at agriculture, and in particular, horticulture. We want to look at something specific. We know that once we have our plants, our ornamental, at some point in time, we will have to change container. Reason being, the containers may get too small, in other words, the plant have overgrown the container, or the plants have started to reproduce asexually. So we have to change the container, or we need to take part of the plant or a plant and get a second plant or a third plant. So we have to do repotting. That is what we are going to do today. We are going to repot. And it is a very exotic plant, a plant that uh, originated in South Africa. It is referred to as the Hawartia, Hawartia or the Hawartiopsis. going to look at the things that we're going to use for the whole process. Again remember the channel Malakai M Road. So this is the plant that we have made mention of earlier. It is Hawartia or Hawartiopsis. Originally it was Hawartia and we have changed the genus Think maybe because it, it looks like the Hawartia, hence they refer to it as a Hawartiopsis, the whole appearance. So this is the plant. Here in the pot we have two plants. So I'm going to take out one, but ultimately I will repot. So here I have my river sand. I have two part river sand and I have one part goat manure fully decomposed and this is my measurement for the parts right and i also have half part of cocoa pod some person referred to it as cocoa pod kaya or cocoa pod meal and also it's a quarter measurement of ash and these will be incorporated to make this pattern Mix. Again, that plant requires free drainage. And here I have a container with some rocks. These will be placed in the two containers. So the plant I'm making reference of is zebra plant. It's referred to as a zebra lily. And the scientific name, Hawarthia limifolia. And I did make mention that it's also referred to as a Hawarthiopsis limifolia. So we are going to go in and start our mixing. All right, so we are going to prepare the potty mix. So I'm going to put in my quarter of ash. Mixing it in, we have to see the mixing. Mixing in the ash and the river sand. And I'm going to add the half cocoa pad color. I'll have to mix in some of it is quite coarse. Again, I'm mixing in each ingredient in. And then finally, I'm going to add the goat manure that has been fully decomposed. I can remove these. So this is the mixing. And this is what we are going to add to the pot. Again, you could put it on the ground and you use a shovel. Here I'm using a hand spade to do my mixing. The goat manure and the cocoa pad adds nutrients. The cocoa pad helps to pull moisture in the river soil at the food drainage. 
this looks well. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start the process of packing. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put some of the stone towards the bottom to prevent the soil from blocking the hole or to prevent the soil from coming out. A few there. And I'm going to add some amount of this packing soil. So here it is. Then move that out of the way. I'm going to get it up as much as possible. Get it way to the top. Get it to the top. So that is so I'm going to start a process of packing. So I'm going to shake out there's the root system. So here we have two plants. I'm going to remove most of the soil that is there. Yeah, two. I'm going to remove some of the root system, a sharp knife. Again, it is also said that this plant can be propagated using the leaves. Remember, it is the zebra lily. I'm stopping it. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to in the center. But before doing that, I'm going to wet. So I'm going to use my watering can and I will. So the drainage, nice free drainage. Use my finger, make an incision, and I place it right in the center. So I press it down in the center. And this one has been packed. So there goes one. I'll do the second one the same time around. Then when I'm sure I can add some fungicide to this. As it is, good to go. Free draining soil, send on the attract damping our fungus. And the damping our fungus is known to affect the Hawarki or the Hawarki I'm going to do the process again of filling the container with packing. Soil and again, this is homemade packing soil. Packing soil can be purchased commercially, or it is done commercially and can be purchased at your farm store. These are somehow lighter, but if you have the resources, you can make yours. And again, I'm going to do a slight wetting. Look at the drainage, how free it is. Second one, I'm going to follow the same procedure, remove most of the older roots. And I'm going to make that incision again. Some one would still need to be removed. The root here, look how it is. And this is this is also a house plant. I remember house plants are good for purifying air. But it also said that this one can be used for medicines. So it used for a number of disorders, it can be used for respiratory can be used for other can be used for stomach ache and many other ailments so here we have the two plants potted right again you can look at them on the scientific names there scientific names and you may wonder why it's two different genus originally it was Hawartia but they say it looks like the Hawartia, hence the part Hawartiopsis. But they are basically the same. They are miniature, like miniature type of aloe vera. So these are the two plants that I have potted. Yes, that was the end of the, the process of packing. Once you have all your material in place, then it doesn't take very long for the entire process. 
So that was packing or repacking my Hawaii and Hawaii offices. Tell me how they looked. More before we go, remember the channel Malakai M Row. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. If you have subscribed, ensure that you like the video and also share it with a friend. But comment before you go. Leave a comment down there. Then before you go, look. Oh, how are it here? Two how are it here? And I can put them closer. Now I need to call, clean that counter.